While I was watching the popular Netflix sci-fi show Altered Carbon, engaged in futuristic world and the grotesque action scenes, someone, or rather something, caught my attention. How can I ease your journey through this world? Mm. A much needed respite. The character of the AI Hotel, who is heavily based on Poe, to me felt like a sore thumb in this wonderfully crafted futuristic world. This led to the question of why an author like Edgar Allan Poe, a 19th century author, would be referenced in a modern TV show, and why he continues to remain so relevant in the 21st century. Just look at this list on Wikipedia, which literally contains a list of hundreds of movies, TV shows, theater, and books, where Poe appears. Despite this, as the first American author who attempted to make a living off of writing, he did not have a very extravagant life and was not nearly as relevant as he is today. One of the biggest reasons why his popularity grew after his death is due to the continued popularity of the genre that he invented, the detective mystery. Many credit Poe with inventing the detective mystery genre with his 1814 novel Murders in the Rue Morgue, and three detective stories that Poe wrote throughout his career follows a specific formula, which has become a convention that most authors follow when writing a detective mystery. Dissecting this formula and examining how modern shows like Altered Carbon use the detective mystery framework will help us answer why the detective mystery, and in turn Edgar Allan Poe, are so popular and relevant in the 21st century. Having a realistic setting that appeals to the fear of the audience is one of the key reasons why detective mysteries have continued to grow in popularity. Even though many of the stories in the detective mystery genre have crime as a hook, the setting this crime occurs in is key. Dr. Paul Matuzzi, a criminal psychologist, explains the importance of having the setting of mystery reflect issues that society faces, saying that humans tend to focus acutely on whether or not the crime could happen to us. We pay attention because we want to know if we are safe. The fact that all three of Poe's detective mysteries take place in Paris is no coincidence, as the Industrial Revolution was at its height when these stories were published. McIntyre, an author for the Times of London, writes, 19th century anxieties about the Industrial Revolution and new ways of living supported the idea that evil was anonymous and everywhere. This instinct, mistrust of appearance, is what made Victorians love detective stories. This strategy of using a crime and familiar environment as a hook appeals to many of society's fears and allows Poe's new genre to become popular. Although it might seem like a show set in 2384 does not appeal to the fear of the 21st century society, Altered Carbon does a great job at addressing issues that 21st century faces. The show uses a backdrop of a not-so-distant future to exaggerate some of the issues faced by modern society. In this scene, where our protagonist is first introduced to the society after being awoken from a 200 year sleep, for example, issues like the invasion of privacy through advertising are brought to its extremes, giving the audience a relatable, realistic setting. The show continues to develop the setting using a similar technique for many of the other issues pressing the audience's society. Noah Berlatsky from Pacific Standard summarizes these fears and the show's portrayal of them well by saying that the show ends up offering a more complicated vision in which racial discrimination, like class inequality, persists even in the far future. By creating an environment that describes and addresses these issues, the show connects itself to the audience's world and makes it more believable that the crime that occurs could easily happen in the near future in the viewer's reality. A key requirement for a good detective mystery is for all the facts to be revealed before the logical reveal. Even though all three of Poe's detective mysteries do this, the most straightforward example of this comes from The Mystery of Mary Roget, in which Dupin and the narrator spend most of the plotline reading newspaper articles about the murder of Roget. In this way, the audience and the detective get the same exact amount of information. Bronwyn Hamus, a writer at Standout Books, explains that the key to a great murder mystery is the belief that a sufficiently diligent reader could solve the case. The answer to the mystery needs to feel like a realization, not a revelation. This guideline in the detective mystery framework ensures that the audience will never feel cheated by the sleuth having information that the audience does not. This way, the audience will know that investing thought into the case will pay off as they themselves might actually be able to solve the case with the detective. Altered Carbon accomplishes a similar goal with slightly different methods. First, because of Kovacs, our protagonist, is brought into this world at the same exact time as the audience is, everything he learns about the case is also learned by the audience. 
However, more interestingly, because of the medium Caligratus uses to tell her detective mystery, she is able to reveal evidence crucial to the final reveal all throughout the show without the audience immediately realizing the significance. The great example of this subplot is Lizzie Elliot. Her character is introduced in episode 2 along with facts that become crucial later in Bancroft's murder. However, with great observation and analysis skills from the audience, it is difficult to see the relationship between her story and the murder. Subplots and other information like this hidden in plain sight allow for the author to get the audience involved in the problem-solving process. Another reason why the detective mystery is so popular is because it never fails to give short, satisfying, and simple logical reveal, which provides an audience a simple world where everything will be resolved to escape to. In all three of Poe's stories, he reserved a very small section at the end where he summarizes the motives of the villain. In The Murderers of the Rue Morgue, near the very end of the story, Dupin, after explaining how he put together the complex set of clues together to reach his conclusion, says, I have scarcely anything to add. The Aurang Outang must have escaped from the chamber, by the name Rod, just before the breaking out the door. This ties up the story with one simple explanation for all the problems in Dupin's world, and gives us the confidence that the problems we face will work out as well. On top of this, for part of the audience who got to the solution before the reveal, they will feel immense satisfaction for being smarter than the sleuth. Altered Carbon does a great job at providing a satisfying reveal. Kovacs, after being misled by many of the red herrings, gathers every relevant person in the case to present his solution. This scene, which runs for a mere five minutes, allows Kovacs to explain the motives of each character and a logical reason for why Bancroft committed suicide. In this scene, as the true motives for the Bancrofts are revealed, and everyone guilty is immediately put in custody. The oversimplification of the real world adds to the reward of the audience as they feel the case being solved. It gives them hope that no matter how chaotic, hopeless, and tangled their lives and problems are, there is always a logical conclusion, and that justice will be served. Finally, and most importantly, even when an author invents a genre, the popularity of a genre will not necessarily result in the popularity of an author. This is why the distinguishability of the detective mystery is a key reason for Poe's popularity after his death. Since humans are conditioned to seek out things that they enjoy, the detective mystery with crime as a hook in a realistic setting almost promises the reader an opportunity for the reader to solve the mystery for themselves and a simple logical reveal at the end. While this uniqueness allows for the genre to continue to be popular, it also allows Edgar Allan Poe to be identified as the inventor of the detective mystery.